Hi, Hi guys. guys. Welcome back to the Sunday Sim Show. This is my fiance Robert. And this is my fiance Yvonne. And today we'll be talking, um, we'll basically doing the part two of last week's show, which is basically strategies on um, different ways that, you know, you can live a happier life, healthier life. Um, the first, well, I guess the seventh one, was it sixth one? Sixth Six. one. No. <laughs> Another strategy <laughs> is um, to basically learn to relax. Um, a lot of times we're going, you know, you know, always on the go, basically having a busy life, and we don't take the time to just kind of sit and relax and just enjoy some peace, basically. Um, one way that you know my fiance definitely does is he learn. He yeah, uh, he basically meditates every morning. Yep. Um, um, yeah. Just getting into starting the day off peaceful um, definitely sets the tone for the rest of the day. And peace doesn't have to be quiet all the time. You can actually, the definition of it, you have to be able to do it when there's other things going on around you. Mm -hmm. um, because if there's nothing going on around you to disrupt you, then yeah, there's no peace because there's nothing to disrupt. So. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to. I just start the day off like that, just so throughout the day when unexpected stuff happens, be able to handle it and just you know keep composure throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And um, as you guys can see, we're outside right now by um, the lake in my house, and um, yeah, we just like to come by the lake every so often, just to kind of walk around. Um, and as you can see, there's a little yeah, we have special guests, today. <laughs> a couple of guests. They're like right behind right us. Right behind us. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just, I mean, I love animals and to just be around animals is my sense of peace because even though I'm like kind of giddy like a child, like I'm really distracted by <laughs> how they're right behind us. But um, I just love to be at the lake where, you know, it's just nice flowy water. Um, you're able to kind of like reflect on your day in a sense. So it's really, really great to find your sense of peace in different things you do to, and just try to learn how to relax basically. Um, another strategy to uh, live a healthier life is to learn to cope, okay? Um, as you know, I said before, we go through a lot of things in life and we can either, you know, let them stress us out or we can learn to just embrace them in a sense. Um, with that being said, you know, talking to someone that you trust is a great way to cope with things. Um, you know any other ways, baby? Um, like for me personally, coping... Um I just pray about it mm -hmm. um, and then I'll go reflect too because if something happened that made me feel some type of way I always go back to figure out like what triggered it and what in my past has done that before um, and once I find the trigger then the story you tell yourself is the story you believe so I can rewrite what happened in a different way and also if it has to deal with someone else um, just seeing from their point of view like why they feel that way or react to that way um, understanding that kind of helps uh, alleviate some of it and just understand it better but usually like praying um, I just pray about it and wait for the answer which I had to do recently um, yeah when I found out about something but I mean I had a dream that night and yeah God said it's gonna he said I got him so I mean yeah. I was able to just let it go and which he was surprised the next day too. Yeah, how I because was reacting. I was not expecting him to react the way he reacted. Yeah. Um, so another strategy um, that we believe you should you, you should use to have a healthier life is to basically have a strong support system. Mm -hmm. With that being said, um, <laughs> just surrounding yourself with positive people, um, people who are, have the same goals in life that you have, not necessarily the same ones, but have goals and they're actually working toward them. Um, we, we know quite a few people that are, are in you know, long relationships and we definitely talk to them about certain situations. Mm -hmm. um, so that helps us a lot. And we go to marriage counseling. And we do marriage so. counseling right now. Yeah. Um, we're getting married in July. So um, basically any help that we can get, any positive help that we can get, we definitely, you know, take it in and um, basically, you know, try to think of different ways of supply. <laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, your support system, like I like said, is people you can talk to um, and just people you can call on. Like mm -hmm. uh, my sister's big one. Um, yeah, I talk to her a lot. Um, so yeah, just, just having those people around you that you can go to. Mm -hmm. 
So another strategy um, that we definitely use a lot is to have a spiritual life. Um, it doesn't have to be a religious life, but definitely um, spirituality or faith in general helps you become a healthier person because you kind of, um, it helps you have peace and it kind of, you know, gives you hope, you know, knowing that even though you might go through certain things, there's always going to be um, a better outcome or um, just something that you can kind of lean on, you know, <laughs> faith. <laughs> All right, so the last strategy we have for you guys is to basically try um, new strategies or exercises that make you happy. Um, one example is to basically, you know, write a thank you note or a gratitude note to somebody who, um, you know, did something. They didn't even have to have done anything nice for you, but just something that would kind of um, help someone's day be better, basically. Um, Another thing that we try to do is we'll list um, certain things that we're grateful for. So that's another thing, um, at least three things we, that we're grateful for. Yeah, writing it down actually, um, it it gets in you more. Mm -hmm. um, and you start noticing little stuff because doing it every day, uh, actually I talked about it on a previous episode, but um, it starts making you notice the little things. And like one day when we were getting home from church, like, I just noticed this random bird sitting on on the roof. So um, you just start paying attention to the little stuff that um, can create some type of happiness for you, or you know, just soothe you. Um, just like right now, just being here, um, I love the water. So it's definitely something that I enjoy being by, and just being by any water really is very common for me. Mm -hmm. And also, um, like. If anything good happens in in your life, like, you know, on a, on a daily basis, you can just write those things down and just kind of reflect on them and, you know, think about, you know, how they made you happy or why they made you happy, you know, what event took place um, to create your happiness. And when you reflect on these things, it'll definitely help you create a, um, a happier, healthier life and you're more likely to, you know, just be a happy, happier person all around just because you're constantly, you know, practicing to do happier exercises which creates you know a healthier life um but make sure you guys you know like comment share and subscribe and we hope you guys stay tuned for next week's show and we will keep you guys updated on how the wedding planning is going and we're actually about to go meet with the <laughs> photographer so yeah so hope you guys have a great week bye, bye.